Hello team, I'm back with another video. Uh, today's subject that I wanted to bring up is uh, posting and the power of posting. Um, this is an online group, if you didn't know that already. Uh, so we exchange information in, in two ways, uh, either through phone or by posting in the Facebook page. I created this page to gather all of you together to help with exchanging information and to also surround yourself with other people with the same goal in mind and finding ways to communicate with these people to keep everybody motivated at once. That is primarily my responsibility, so as much as I can, I'll exchange information, I'll provide ideas and tips, and I'll also do what I can to keep you motivated. Your responsibility as a challenger is real simple, to do your workouts, take care of your nutrition, and to post accordingly. Uh, so while it's good that I have my chance to post my information, it's always good for you guys to post as well. And it's been proven with all the challenge groups that I've done thus far, the people that are most active with the posts still, or, or they, they tend to have the higher rate of success. So keep that in mind. The benefit of the posting is it's real simple. Um, since we are an online group, if you don't post, we don't really see your activity. So if you don't post anything, I don't know what you're doing. You could be sitting at the house eating Lay's potato chips and sitting on the couch. You know, so uh, help me out by posting and let me know where you are, what you're doing, and what you're going through. Uh, it holds you accountable. It's like checking in. You know, if you if you check in and you know somebody's waiting on you to check in, uh, it kind of locks you in and, and, and confirms that you're doing your workouts. I'm trusting everybody to be honest. Hopefully you didn't buy this program just to write about it and not do it. So let's not do that. Work out and post. And uh, the other thing that's related to the benefits is it motivates others. Um, I know when I work out with a group and I see a lot of posts coming in, it lets me know like, hey man, I gotta make sure I get mine in and let these folks know that I'm doing my thing. And, uh, you know, besides uh, another part of the post, sorry, I got a little bit mixed up there, is um, when you see other people post, be sure to compliment them on them or give them a thumbs up, like their status, because everybody likes a good pat on the back. It keeps you going. That's really the purpose of the group. I'll try to do as much of that as I can, and you make sure you do the same. And, uh, you know, since we're on this subject about posting, I wanted to throw out some rules too. You know, while posting is good and we want to keep the environment going, we want to make sure that we manage the posting accordingly. Um, it's one favor that I ask if we, we try our best to keep the post that we have in this group subject related. And when I say subject related, I mean related to the workouts that are going on in this challenge group. And, and here's why. Um, if you have too much posting about an activity outside of let's say we got people doing P90X and T25 and Tayo and somebody takes up uh, rock climbing and they post a lot about rock climbing what I've seen historically is you tend to have more people talking about rock climbing than the subject at hand before you know it everybody's dumping their workouts and they're off rock climbing and if that happens then everybody's off their goal we've pretty much lost the structure of what we intended to do into this in, in this 90 day period we don't want to do that so we want to keep these posts subject related we want we don't want to break up the focus of the challenge group we want to keep everybody focused and locked in to make sure that we make it to the end and finish strong so so keep that in mind as you post uh, recipes questions private victories related to the workouts <clears throat> those are all great so feel free to post those uh, because that's the type of information we really need going but but try to keep the uh, the outside subjects to a minimum and I think the group will work a lot better okay so like I said before, how's the posting work? It's real simple. You go in there, you get your workout on, you're done 30 minutes later, you can go get you some water, go take a shower, whatever. Come back, post, and just let folks know what you've done. Also, be sure to make comments on other people's posts. Keep the comments positive. They can be serious. They can be direct. But keep them positive. We don't need to beat anyone down or say anything negative. This is supposed to be a positive energy group. Let's keep the energy positive. That's all I have for the day. Uh, I'll post another video tomorrow. I'm hoping to hear from a few more people. It's been real quiet. This is what I consider preseason. So we're not really working out yet, but I want to exchange as much information as possible just to make sure that you know all the ground rules and all the details, all the tips before we get started. So when everybody's ready to work out, we can just stick those DVDs in, get started, no questions asked, breaking sweat, doing exactly what we need to do as we push through this program. Thanks. Talk to you later.